<laughs> How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review with Joe. Hi. Joe's here. I am. Joe's here to do some reviews. Um, coming out of video retirement because he's re uh, retreated to his comfy written reviews. I have. And he came tonight with Rallers in hand. We reviewed a couple of Tired Hands beers, but now we're moving up the uh, Delaware River to Eastern Pennsylvania, and we're doing Weyerbacher's 2016 Sunday Morning Stout. Um, you've had this before. I think I gave you the bottles yes, that you yeah. had. I had last year's version. Last year's version took the area, took everywhere but storm. People kind of fawned over this beer quite a bit. Um, nobody saw it coming to the point where I just got cases and cases of it. I drank them all or shared them or gave them to people. Mm -hmm. But it was a beer that was pretty readily available for quite a long time. But people kind of, well, you know, kind of pigeonholed it as a KBS killer. It's last yeah, year's that was, version. That, that was the big thing that I saw about last year's version was like KBS killer, KBS killer yeah. in particular. But, from but it was a, it's, it, 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 there's uh, coffee, there's bourbon barrels, it's a stout. Mm. But it's a much different beer, at least last year's version was. So I'm super excited to give this this year's uh, version a whirl. This beer comes courtesy of my buddy George, my beer dealer, George. Thank you very much, buddy. Have you had this yet? No, I haven't. Ooh. I haven't. I got this. Nice. I picked this up uh, about two hours ago. Oh, very nice. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm super excited to give it a whirl. Uh, exactly the same labeling from what I remember. Uh, just Weyerbacher Sunday Morning Stout. Stout aged in bourbon barrels with coffee. 11.3%. Not sure if the same ABV. Knowing... Weyerbacher, it is because their ABVs never change ever in the history of mankind. No. Even when it they... probably is. It, I think last year's was around. If, if it was 11 point two like, or like 11 to the point, point where one. like Weyerbacher makes like a barley wine and it's 11 point whatever, 8. And then they put it in a burn barrel and it comes out of 11.8. I don't know how that magic happens. We've talked about this in we previous have. reviews. But, uh, yeah, their ABVs are pretty much locked in there. I'm sure there's variants they just stick with the, mm -hmm. stick with the core number. And, um, you know, I, I don't, I'm don't. i not a big fan of Weyerbacher's label. I've never been a big fan of uh, Jester's in general. We're coming from the tattoo industry. I, just, I don't like Jester's. I think they're cheesy. Yeah. And, uh, the new uh, Jester, though, is far and away better from the old one. There's no such thing as a good Jester. Um, in, and, in comparison between both of them, yeah, but that's like saying so, it, well, it's less suckier. Yeah, um, yeah that's true. and and the label is cool in a very ghetto way. I dig it. Um, but yeah, there you go. It just matters what's inside. And last year's beer was pretty damn good. I got it hot out the shoot last year, and I gave it when I was grading beers. I think I gave it a ninety-one, but I said it was going to grow with time, and it did grow with time. Um, but uh, we'll see what this year's version holds. This is. Let's say 16th? Yes. 13 days old. So, uh, you know, it's relatively it's... fresh, this one. So, I reviewed last year's. I'm going to review this year's. Let's see what she's got. Well, that's fucking... That's a stout. Line. Yeah, that's like, if you ever... If you, if any of you are out there playing video games and stuff, if you ever see, like, a kind of evil entity come out of the floor of a video game that is evil and wants to kill you, pretty much the same color as beer. Yeah, pretty it's much. It's about as dark as dark could fucking possibly be. Yeah. Um, pinky finger. What I like my coffee to look like, colored head. Eh, decent creaminess. It's like like lava, like bursting explosions on top of it. And, uh, yeah, pretty compact bubbles. And it's dark. I mean, there's no color. I mean, on the yeah, base, I'm, base, base, I can see get. myself. I can see the two of us perfectly. Yeah, it's a mirror. Yeah. So yeah. It's got a nose on her. It smells a lot like last year's. Again, a heaping portion of char. Yeah. I get a lot of coffee. Coffee really stands out to me. Yeah. Um, but not in the, like, pepper skin. Like, there's there are certain coffee beers... Um, Bourbon County Coffee is one of them that has like a almost like a green pepper skin. Yeah, like a to bell it. pepperness to it. But this just has the fresh coffee bean smell, which is actually what I really like. Yeah, it's, but it's almost like a like a not overly roasted coffee no, either. No. It's more of like a greener, fresher coffee. It's not not super roasted. You're not getting a ton of roast. You're not getting any kind of like really bitterness. A lot of co some coffee beers can have like a bitter mm. kind of bitterness to it. This doesn't really have it in a nose. No. I'm not getting a whole lot of barrel either. I get char. I get a decent amount of char out of this. I get right, char. Yeah. I get like chocolate. A really, okay. I get so char. Really I, get chocolate. I, get, I get no vanilla. I get no, no coconut. No, no vanilla. 
I do get that charriness out on like a really deep smell. I have to inhale quite a bit to get it. Um, the coffee like really hits and sticks around for me. But the at the same time, I, I it, the beer is also not huge and huge either. No, like I can smell that it's a stout, but it's not like punching me in the face with a roasted ball mm -hmm. or anything like that. To me, it's coffee, barrel char, um, maybe a little bit of kind of like a darker chocolateness to it. But other than that, I mean, it smells good and it smells very reminiscent. Like I haven't had a Sunday morning stout. I don't even know, probably like months. But the second yeah, I smelled this... Yeah, I don't remember the last time I had it, but... The, se the second I smelled this, I was like, that's Sunday morning stout. So, it, it, unless my memory is wrong, which, who the fuck knows, yeah, couldn't remember it. So, let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers. Way more barrel in the flavor. I'm getting that, like... I'm getting a little bit of vanilla. In there, the coffee yeah. for me is kind of dialed back a little bit more, and it's almost like coffee that you've added cream and sugar to, but not as. I'm getting a little bit of fucking heat sweet. vapors, not necessarily in the back end. Yeah, but I feel like this alcohol vapor. I'm getting the barrel. I am mean, getting a touch of vanilla now. I have a hard time with that. I'm really not getting that much beer though. Yeah, it's it is kind of like everything else that's in the beer. Besides the beer itself. Besides the beer itself. And it's good, but it's like it it doesn't it, to me it doesn't have the same impact as last year. Listen, I am the I, first person to stand up and how do I let's rewind. One of the first one of the most the trigger words, we'll go trigger words again. Mm -hmm. Trigger phrase for me in order to hate somebody or want to punch somebody right in the fucking face or the nuts or whatever is, oh, last year's was better. I'm not that fucking guy. Yeah. And I'm not saying last year's <laughs> are better, but this is having less think... of an impact on me right now than, than last year's. Based off memory, take that with a grain of salt. Now, do you, do you think that has anything to do with the, like hype surprise from last year of like everyone like it comes out and it just kind of seemed like it was it was instant like everyone was like Sunday morning stouts out like it's it's great everyone should drink it and then it comes out again this year and like yeah it's good but you know no honestly I'm like I'm gonna first things first I think I'm pretty fucking unbiased when it comes to like tasting beer. That being said, we all have biases, so I'm not gonna be as I'm not gonna be that fucking blinders on to think I'm not fucking biased because we all have biases. AKA, I hate Philadelphia. Yeah. But um, like watch our tire. <laughs> yeah. No, no. That. But I, I mean, obviously, we have biases. So there, there, it's not, this isn't science. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it's opinion. But here's the thing: like when I reviewed last year's, I reviewed it before all that happened. Okay. Do you know what okay. I mean? Like, I reviewed it, I think I reviewed it the day, like, within a day or two of it coming out before... It blew up. Before there was a groundswell. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So, whatever I whatever I had, like, review-wise, is based off of just what I was drinking. It was like... Mm -hmm. And while people were like, okay, that sounds like a really fun experiment from them, there was no, like, hey... It actually took a couple months for the fucking groundswell of this to kind of mm -hmm. build up and become what it was. Um... Now, am I being biased because now I expect more? I don't think so. Because, like yeah, I said, I, I have so. had this probably about six months ago, and the impact was different for me. But at the same time, I can only judge it how I am judging now. I'm talking to no camera. I'm not, again, this is not science. But what I mean, I'm doing is giving my opinion. Some people follow my opinion. Some think I'm an asshole or even think I'm an asshole but still follow my opinion. Whatever it is, I'm getting my opinion. And it just lacks impact for me this year compared to last Based off of memory. Did you have it pretty fresh? Like, when you first reviewed it last year, did you have it... Like, very, fresh. very fresh. Like, I, uh, oh, yeah. I, wanna, I have no idea. I would say I'm probably within the same amount of time. Okay. So within a... Like it was released, I think area. it was released on a Sunday. I ended up getting a bottle the following week and reviewed it a couple days later. So, uh, con uh, it, taking into account when it was bottled. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? To when it got to me... Uh, we can go. I'm gonna go look after this and see how how long I waited. But yeah, as far as what I'm actually getting from the actual beer itself, 
like I said, I'm getting char, I'm getting chocolate, I'm getting a bit of coffee, I'm getting some like really, really, really dark cherry. I'm getting this. Yeah, like, I'm getting cherry now. That's... I'm getting evaporation from alcohol, not a heat in the back end, but I can feel this like no, evaporation. Yeah, <sighs> no heat, which is good for eleven point three percent. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm lacking the beer. Almost seems like the beer is being lost in the barrel a little bit. Not that the barrel's overpowering and it's like punching me in the face. The barrel, I think, is where it's at. I think the beer is just a little bit smaller mm-hmm. than what I remember it being. Yeah. It's still a good beer. That's the thing, too. Like, it's still fucking so, I, I think enjoy this it. is. This um, is probably. This right now, I had last year's version mm-hmm. a couple months out. Because mm-hmm. uh, I know I picked one up. I actually left it like when you gave it to me, I meant to. <laughs> but you left it in but you forgot it. I think. That's yeah, I left it at my house, mm-hmm. and then I got it. I don't know. A month or two later, you came yeah. back. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah. And then I picked it up, so I had it aged. Uh, so this now, you know, super fresh, is to me probably one of the best. Uh, barrel aged beers that I've had from Meyerbach. It's still up there. My whole point is comparing it to last year's, and this is the thing with the whole age portion of the show. I don't think a lot of these flavors are jarring. I already think they're a bit rounded, so I don't mm-hmm. think there's a lot. I, I think it's going to change with time because it is a beer and it's a high ABV beer and it's a barrel aged beer. And here's the other thing I think that actually, and I haven't mentioned it yet, I think it's thinner than last year's too. I don't. It's not thick. It's not like for its color and how it poured. It should it's, be denser. It should thicker. be a little bit denser, but for me, it's it's pretty on. It's pretty on point, like thickness wise, for what I would expect. If this was super super thin, then I would be I would be disappointed. But it it has that creaminess. It has a decent amount. See, of that's body. Not, to me. It's more fluffy. It's like I'm expo- like the, almost like the carbonation is so carbonated. It's exploding in your mouth while you're drinking it in that fluffy form. It's not like dense like a typical like real huge ABV stout. Yeah, where it has a thickness or a coating to it. Like even like there's 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 a bit of lacing going on but you don't and you do get a little bit of discoloration on the glass but it's not like staining the glass like yeah make, there are there are stuff that just stain it make it look like it. blue blockers you know what i mean yeah, like yeah um so let's jump to it the video is running crazy long as is um is it it's one of the sure. it, yeah yeah <laughs> is it one of the better stouts barrel aged stouts i've had as late no um do I, and enjoy the shit out of it? yeah would i buy it again yes that's the big thing with wirebucker mm-hmm. their price point they had a beer blow up on them it was, I believe it was, I want to say it was $76, 77 I could be, let's say it was 78 bucks a case last year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Blew up. Everybody loves it. Now they're only limited at one case per person. Guess how much it is this year? I would guess over 100 78 bucks a case. So okay. it hasn't fucking changed. Oh, okay. So that's fucking, kudos to them for keeping the price point true. They're not fucking around. They're keeping it yeah. the way it is instead of fucking trying to get, a, get, you know, steal a buck off somebody. Not even steal because it's worth more than 78 bucks a case. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? I'm just saying kudos to them on that point. So I definitely buy it again. Definitely age it to see where it goes. Um, availability. I, I know, I know a place right now I can drive and go get some that's 20, 15 minutes away, not even. Um, but it's going to go fast. Yeah. Um, what do you think? For me, I like lately I haven't had a whole lot of, of barrel aged beers. The last one that I had, uh, that I can remember having was, um, the newest release of Kentucky Bastard. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, it's not exactly on par with that. It's a couple of notches below, but still really good. And one of, lately, one of the best barrel aged beers that I have had. Uh, just because I haven't had a whole, I haven't had a whole hell of a lot of barrel aged beers. I haven't, like, dug through the cellar and pulled out some, some stuff that I have there. Um, and, and let's do, I'm going to do this just for the sake of going, coming full circle. Last year, excuse me. I graded this beer, um, I've rated this beer a 91, and the second those words tumbled out of my mouth, I said, with a huge stipulation, I think, because it was so fresh, Mm -hmm. so fresh that I thought it had an absolute crazy potential to grow, and I said, I would not be surprised to see this beer reach, and my old one, I used to rate beers, 
in the high 90s, 95, 97, 98. If I were to rate this beer the way I did back then, I would give it a high 80s right now. I'll give it like an 87. But I'd be surprised if it got above the low 90s. I don't think it's going to grow as big. And we're uh, fucking, not, ooh, 90 beer, that sucks. No, it's fucking great beer. It's good. It's delicious. I enjoy it. But it, it, there's something, it's it's different. Batches change from year to year. It's a different beer. Sometimes beers get better. Sometimes they get worse. Worse and better doesn't mean it's the best or the worst. It has changed. And I think it's just a little bit less than last year's version. Take that with a grain of salt. I'm not being last year's is better guy. As much as I think I'm not. Yeah, that is, that is kind of an annoying thing. Cause in, yeah. Almost immediately when, you know, Urban County comes out or KBS comes out or whatever comes out, it's someone, someone always goes, the previous year was better. Well, most people, or 2000, like, X year was better. Most people say this year was better because they just want to say they had that year. That They're not actually saying that year was better. Yeah. They're just saying, oh, oh yeah, the 2002 version was the best. But they just want to tell you they had a 2002 version of whatever the fuck they're drinking. Yeah. So that's what they're trying to do. So I would love to... I'd, lo- I'd love to do a side by side. Maybe I'll do that again. It's not going to be fucking science because one's going to be a year old, the other one's mm-hmm. going to be a month old. Yeah. But we'll see. Maybe I'll pick up a side by side and do a little fucking review of that. We'll see what happens. But there you go. Now let's go to uh, if you like. Well, if you like this, I mean, it is. It's it, it. It reminds me more of KBS now than it did last year. Yeah, actually, I have actually still never had KBS. No. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, nah, it's just one of those beers. It's like it's not it's not hard to get, but it's hard to get. But at the same time, you don't come across it. But I'm not going to seek it out. So it's like yeah, I don't. The thing with the thing with KBS is I don't really care. I've had Bourbon County. I still have Bourbon Counties, so I can just drink that, and it's in my cellar. Yeah, you know, I've had Parabolas. I've had you know the Barrel Age beers from Firestone Walker, and now this is. Something that I can get, you know, if I so chose, yeah. I can get this pretty easily. Yeah. You know, so I'm like, I don't, KBS to me, I just don't care. Yeah, no, you I know, get it. I, I would rather, personally, I think I would rather, I without ha- ever having KBS, I think I would rather Backwoods Bastard. I'm, I'm with you. I'm Backwoods Bastard junkie. Yeah. But anyway, this is closer to KBS this year. It was last year, but it's still not the same beer, but it's much closer. And other than that, that's it. That's all I have to say about it. You know what I mean? So there you go. Nice review in the books. I really enjoyed doing this one. I had fun of it. It sounded like I kind of pooped on it, but it's still a really good beer. So if you find it, pick no, it up. It's a good beer. It's delicious. I'm glad um, that I got to, got to try it. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below and like, subscribe, and all that fun, fun stuff. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, on tap. Massive beers. All four of those places. Check me out there if you want to check me out anywhere else. How about you, Joseph? You could find me at nepareviews.squarespace.com for written reviews. And uh, also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at nepareviews. So there you go. Another review down. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice burn barrel-aged coffee stout right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.